So, I made a video before, but I didn't do it well. You can see what I was drawing, which is bad. So I'm gonna make, we do it, I'm gonna redo it. Okay, yeah, so before I jump into what this video is about, just wanted to clarify something, and it's that art is not about talent. You don't need, I mean, you need skill to be able to do art. You don't need talent. Most people, most people assume that it's all about uh, talent, but it's really just about skill. I hope that made sense. Okay, it's like, it's like cooking. You can't have talent for cooking, you know. You have to learn stuff about cooking. You have to learn what to add to this or what it'll make. That's kind of like what art is. It's like cooking. You learn it so you can do it. Just like every other thing in life. Okay. So, just... Yeah, okay. So, most people... When they want to draw, I mean, including me when I, including me when I started, they just imagine what they want to draw. Well, let's say like a dragon, and just they just start drawing the dragon. I mean, that makes sense. It's the most straightforward way. Like, what other way is there? I mean, if I were to show that, I mean, just want to draw a dragon? Just so you know, I drew a, a, a dragon before it's not, it's not good it's not gonna be good because it's not how you're supposed to draw a dragon anyways I mean see okay let me just start so that was like years years so, I, I'm not copying from anything so just try to tell you that Dragon, the mouse, the, the nose, the nose, and uh, uh, yeah, this is absolutely trash. The, the mouth as well, razor sharp teeth. mistake the eyes <laughs> but uh just draw the body first um, okay so the body ends here then you have like a wing a wing then you can see a back of that wing so it's a wing and this is the front of that wing, look, right here, top, bottom, and then, uh, arms, that's a very bad arm, I'm not, I'm not even trying to do this right on my, but, uh, I guess you can understand what I'm trying to show here. This is not even what I imagined at first, but I went with the flow. Uh, that is not a dragon. That is not a dragon. And do you know why it's not a dragon? It's because I don't know how to draw a dragon. Yes, I can imagine a dragon. But I don't know how to draw a dragon. I don't know. Where their uh, their fingers are located, how sharp are their nails, or the texture they have? I can I can guess. That's not gonna be right. Okay, it's like when I was beginning, I, I tried drawing an arm. I mean, when you draw a hand, it should be simple. You just have these knuckles: one, two, three, four. Palm right. 
straight line. I'm not trying to work with this. And then I just I just knew I just knew that the that the thumb was located here somewhere and then like you see some part of the arm over here I just knew like came like this like this something like that but I didn't after I uh, examined my hand properly in a fist position I was able to understand how it was uh, positioned and I was better able to draw an arm and if I can find okay that's just a waste of time but let's continue this is not a good way to draw stuff and the first thing you learned was that uh, you need to uh, learn about what we are drawing how it's made its parts where they are located its proportions like if well, I mean proportion as in like the body is made up of eight heads and if these were equal like, let's just say this is a head this is a head and then you have seven more of those below that that's the entire body for for an average person not for like not abnormal person okay learn about what we're drawing and then the next thing is to draw with shapes to draw with simple shapes you don't just start okay wait, I'll just show you the simple shapes you have like a square rectangle triangle all that business I mean have to make them look perfect you can change them when you're drawing okay you understand what I'm trying to say now like uh, yeah if I wanted to draw a fly and I'm picking a fly because it's very simple and I should be able to know how a fly is made I think I know I haven't really checked it's like this so I'm gonna first Use an oval for its head. That's an oval. And then an oval, sort of like this, but bigger. As well, something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then, I guess, another one behind that one. And that's my fly. I mean, not completely. I know they have wings, so just make an oval over here, an oval over here, and then I mean, the eyes, eyes, that's something. That is something for not looking at the way an actual fly is. That's something, right? And I'm supposed to be drawing on, drawing objects like if there was a human figure over here, to show you uh, the shapes you should choose. I mean the shape, I mean just an example of how I would choose the shapes. But I didn't do that. I should show. I'll, I'll show that in the next video. But uh, yeah, using shapes. to draw simple shapes this entire thing is made of just shapes okay and then the other thing you have to adopt is do not start with details that's something I had to learn when I was beginning do not start with details and what do I mean be why what do I mean by details uh, for example, color, texture, and uh, give me something. Uh, 
check out the video I made before. Irregular shapes. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Uh, a normal fly head wouldn't be, just be a perfect oblong, a, a perfect oval, even though that's not what this is. But it's going to be kind of irregular, but you don't just start with that. It's, you can't do that. Only professionals can do that. But, okay. Learn about what we are drawing, using shapes to draw, and do not start with details. Just want to check uh, the example. When I was drawing, when I was beginning, well, this is my second book, so it's probably not good. It's, it's a prime example of drawing with only shapes. Like, you can just clearly see the shapes. It's just like cylinder, cylinder, and uh, circle. And you have this. Uh, I don't know what is happening there. It's supposed to be just be a cylinder. It's a little wider. I mean, you can change it. So, yeah. I was trying to make a hippopotamus under this guy. But I didn't really study how a hippopotamus is. I didn't add detail, too. You're not supposed to worry about detail. Okay. Let's get back. So, this is just an example of what you're supposed to do. I mean, with the shapes. Just, just the shapes. You don't draw with 2D shapes because that's not how reality is made. Reality is made of 3D shapes. And you can't draw 3D stuff on paper because it's, it's 2D. I mean, what you draw looks... 2D, but there are certain ways to make your drawing look like your 3D. And like, see one of those drawing videos where it looks like a vid, uh, uh, like a building is popping out of the paper. That's an example of the illusion. I can, I can't show, but I'll show that in the next video. How to draw 3D shapes properly. Okay, yeah. Next video, I guess.